So obviously it's been a difficult past couple of years for everybody. Now the <laughs> Dodgers Foundation, they've kept doing everything. You've been at Dodgers Dream Fields unveiling them. What is it like to be back here for this event? It is fantastic because the the what the foundation is doing is, is really commendable. Uh, it's, they do such a great job, so when they ask me to come here and spend some hours here with you, it will be a great for me. It's, it's great because what they do is fantastic. Really, they're helping lots of people. They are building fields, baseball fields all around Southern California, so uh, you have to support the foundation. I know you have your own foundation as well. How are, how are those things going? The foundation is going fine. The, the LA Foundation, the Dodge Foundation is going to help our foundation also. So, so it is a great work, you know, this month, last year with the Dodgers. So I'm going to uh, devote my time to help Jorge, my son, who is running the foundation, the Jaime and Blanca Harin Foundation. We have scholarships that we're giving, to, uh, uh, giving away every year. Uh, we have to give about 30, 30 scholarships to students going to several universities here in Southern California. So it is very exciting. I am looking forward to, uh, to a good, good time and to helping those kids. This is your first year in the booth with the team, but you're very familiar with the franchise. What can you say about the work that they do in the community? I mean, it goes back to my youth. I mean, as a child, I remember um, how much the Dodgers did here in L.A. I used to go to clinics with my dad in East L.A. and uh, San Gabriel Valley and, and everywhere, uh, you know, South L.A., uh, Compton, and you name it, Watts, to see exactly how these kids idolize the players. But to see these kids react to having their heroes alive and, and in person and say, I can go out there and, and listen to that person and, He's going to instruct me uh, about baseball, about life, about education. It means a lot to me to live it here now as a Dodger because I saw from far away for so many years, and I know the impact I've had in the communities. And everywhere I go, there's always somebody saying, I remember going to a clinic. Your dad was there, or, or Tommy Lasorda was there, or, or Alex Cora was there, or Pete Guerrero was there, and uh, it's, it's pretty special. How important is it for the Dodgers to not only have star players to obviously attract fans here at the stadium, but to, like you said, to show kids in the community like, hey, you can do this too, and to be active themselves outside of the Dodgers Foundation? you got to remember something. I mean, yeah, they're star players. They also have a mom. They have a dad. They have uncles. They have kids. Uh, they have a grandpa and grandma. So they identify with these kids. As long as it's presented right and they understand that, you know, every baseball they, they sign, any bat that they sign, you know, cleats, it's going to go to a good cause, and they see that, it's impactful. Trust me that I know a lot of these players through the years have always wanted to, say, donate or give their time to something. And to me, it's not so much about let's get back. It's about, you know, getting involved. And I think besides writing a check, the best thing is to see the results and see something that you did and offered in terms of resources, pay back and, you know, impact your community. Is there anything in uh, particular that you're looking forward to tonight? Obviously, I think Jennifer Lopez might be the popular answer for everybody, but where do you fall? I'm not going to fall from that. It's J-Lo, man. Come on. I mean, I, uh, for so many years, I've followed her since she started back in, uh, what was that show on, on be, uh, about the clown and all that kind of yeah, stuff? And I forgot back the name, then, right? Okay. Yeah, back then, then somebody's like, remember that girl? He's, I'm like, that's Jennifer Lopez? I'm like, holy mackerel. But yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Little Latino beat, little Caribbean. She's Puerto Rican. I'm a Dominican, so there's a mix. You're a big dancer? Nah. No. Nah. Okay. I'll save my best moves maybe for my wife a little bit later. <laughs> Great. Thank you. you. Got it.